and luckily Jason Beverly from J&R Music and Computer World is here, and he's brought in some air conditioners. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You know what? When you don't have one of these, you realize how bad you need one. This is the first unit we're going to talk about. This is one of, one of your most popular ones. Tell us what makes it a good, good buy. Correct. This is a good buy. It's highly energy efficient. Most air conditioners nowadays are extremely more energy efficient than the ones you would have bought even a year or two ago. Um, this particular one, this Panasonic, is of the most standard size and power for what people seem to need around here. Yeah, they've really come a long way. you got the digital display with the temperature and everything. Is that pretty much standard now? Very standard. Remote control is very standard. You're going to see a remote control in every one of these that I'll show you. These and this is, window a, air this is going to do a medium-sized room, is that right? A medium-sized room, give or take 200 square feet, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. All depends on the heating, the ventilation, the sun exposure Next on your area. Next you got here looks like something that might work in a good, for a bedroom, something like that. Correct. This is definitely a smaller one. Uh, again, remote control, digital readout. This one in particular, though, is extremely quiet. This is a Sharp with library quiet. That's very affordable, it seems. Yes. It's come down quite a bit. Quiet is real good in the bedroom, obviously. What else do you want to look for in a bedroom here? Um, again, this one does have a remote control. Don't have to get out of bed. You decide it's freezing. You want to shut it down. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Right from the right from the nightstand. Yep. All right, next up, we got something quite large. Now, how big a room is this going to cool down? Well, this is going to cool down something closer to 250 to 300 square feet, give or take. This is 10,000 BTUs. Is this about as high as it's going to go when you talk about putting something in a window? You can get a larger one, but the nice thing about all these that we're showing today is these are all standard outlet air conditioners. You don't need one of those special large 220 volt outlets. Right. All these will plug into your standard three prong outlet. That's this one. Included. Tell us a little bit about BTUs. Is there a rule of thumb? Is there a formula people can have in mind when they go in there to buy something? There is a formula you can have in mind, but honestly, I would ask a salesperson because the salesperson there and then will be able to figure things in the lake. You don't um, want to get caught with too little BTUs, but then again, I guess you don't really want to pay for too many. Correct. In uh, fact, though, you never do want to pay for too many because if you were to purchase an air conditioner that was actually too large or too powerful, for the room, it will not only use too much energy, it will not properly dehumidify and take all the moisture out of the air. If you have old air conditioners right now, they're still working, they're still cooling down the room, these are so much more efficient. Do you think it pays in the long run just to upgrade? It probably will pay over the long run. Over a couple of years, yes. Your energy bill will be down, you will be cooler. It will pay, I think. Finally, this last model we have here, it's called a uh, portable model. And what does that mean? It, essentially, it's not in the window, right? It's absolutely not in the window. You can use this in buildings in New York that would otherwise not allow you to have an air conditioner for safety or maybe historical landmark reasons is another case. It's got wheels. Um, it's got certainly a hose to ventilate the hot air. That hose outside. has to be somewhere near a ventilation. So could you use it without and just have it exhaust in the room or no? You can have it exhaust not only out a window or out like a uh, sliding door. You can exhaust it into a drop ceiling. You can exhaust this into an extra closet. So it's all good. And this particular one does not drip. Do not ever have to empty a bucket like you do with a lot of other portable air conditioners. Well, this unit right here actually is one that j &R is going to give away. You got this it. by DeLonghi. And all you need to do is log on to WB11.com. You're in the market for an air conditioner. You might want to do this. WB11.com to enter. Deadline for entries is tomorrow, June 30th. It's at 6 p.m. We're going to announce the winner on Thursday morning. And this can be yours. All right, Jason, thanks so much for giving us a little education on the air conditioners. We appreciate it. For more of these products, you can stop by JNR on Park Row in downtown Manhattan, or you can always log on to JNR.com. Stay with us, folks. We've got a lot more to come on the morning news. One-on-one -on -one with R&B singer Brandy plus the Freaky Frog Baby. Stay with us.